One of my favorite things to do when fishing the mullet run is to fish the bridges at night. And fishing bridges at night means targeting snook and tarpon on shadow lines. Um, I'm mainly fishing for snook uh, this time of year. Um, tarpon are kind of a bycatch, but for targeting snook along the shadow lines during the mullet run, one of the most effective and most fun ways to catch them is with a topwater. Uh, my favorite topwater for doing that is the Hydro Pencil. Um, the Hydro Pencil from Missouri is a five inch bait, um, great hooks uh, out of the package through wire construction, so it can stand up to the biggest snook, uh, any tarpon you're gonna hook on it, um, no problem. The way that I target uh, snook with a topwater on the shadow lines at night is different than what you would traditionally do with a pencil bait. Um, I, you want to make sure whether you're in a boat or you, if you're from land to set up uh, on the back side of the shadow line. So you want to set up in the dark behind the shadow line on the, um, and you're fishing the shadow line on the up current side of the bridge. So the water's coming under the bridge, you got a shadow line here and you're behind it. Um, you want to throw out into the light, uh, far enough away from the shadow line that you don't spook the fish. Um, and then you want to bring the bait back into the shadow line, whether it be back straight into the shadow line or at an angle, letting it, the current swing the bait. Um, one of the two ways that I work the bait back into the shadow line, the first way is very, very simple, is just a real, real slow. So instead of walking it, uh, which I never do, fishing the shadow lines with this bait, is you're just gonna reel slow and the bait kind of just has a straight, very little action. It makes a V in the water. It looks very similar to a mullet. It's a very subtle presentation and it's something that works really well for snook. Um, and you, you would slowly work that back into the shadow line. Uh, it's making that V and a lot of times right when it gets in that shadow line, they're gonna pop it. Uh, the other way is to throw up into uh, the light in front of the shadow line and then reel it real quick. So you kind of give it a skip and then right before it gets to the shadow line, dead stick it, give it a, just stop reeling and let the current and the wind bring the bait into the shadow line. So if the shadow line's right here, you're gonna skip it real quick and stop. And then it's, it's like a mullet that runs right into the shadow line, sees the shadow line and stops and the fish jump on it and you have a really strong reaction bite a lot of the times. It's a really fun way to fish. Um, what I would say is, when I bust out the top water is when I get to the bridge and fish are popping really hard. Um, if there's not any fish popping, if there's not any mullet around, this isn't, this isn't gonna be a technique you'll use. You go to something else, you throw a jig or you throw a swimming plug. Um, but if you get to the bridge, the fish are popping really good on mullet. Um, I see a lot of people throw jigs or throw plugs that go underneath the mullet. The fish are up, they're hitting baits on top. They're looking for something that mirrors the mullet that are on top that they're feeding on. The hydro pencil and a pencil bait in general does a really effective job of that. It's a really good way to catch fish. The one downside about it is you will miss quite a few fish um, because the fish will actually miss the bait. Um, if you see snook or tarpon popping baits, uh, particularly mullet on shadow lines, they miss a lot of the baits that they're hitting and the same thing with your plug. Um, one way to reduce uh, the number of fish that you miss is to not set when you see the hit. So if you're bringing the plug into the shadow line and boom, it gets blown up, my technique is to reel down, and if it gets real tight, then just lift back. Um, if you reel and it gets popped and you set right away, a lot of the times the plug's gonna come flying back at you. It doesn't give it, it, doesn't give it a chance to get the hook in the lip. Because a lot of times when you hook these fish, you're just gonna hook them on the back treble. Um, Sometimes you'll get them where they'll choke it down, but most of the time you get them just on the back treble. The good thing about that is the plug acts as a barrier so you don't get it, you don't get frayed on your leader at all. So it's not an issue about getting frayed off. Um, it's an effective way to catch fish. Uh, these baits are getting much, much more popular based on some of the success that people have seen online um, with guys like Jupiter Snooker and myself and a lot of other anglers that are catching fish. Uh, consistently on this bait this time of year. Check your local tackle shop online at Tackle Direct or BassPro.com or your other uh, favorite online tackle retailer.